Alright, so today we're going to check out the new HP Omen 16. I uh, just picked this up from Best Buy. Uh, we got a Ryzen 7 5800H, 1 terabyte SSD, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 144 hertz, 16.1 inch, 19 by 1920 by 1080p screen, and a Radeon RX 660M, 4 cell, 70 watt hour battery. Um, I think this is probably be the first benchmarks in a retail unit of the 6600M. We have seen the numbers that Radeon's released some numbers saying that it's supposed to be comparable in games or better than the 3060. Came with very little documentation. Um, the charger looks similar to the Omen 15s, but it's a 230 watt laptop charger. Taking a look at the ports on the left side, we have our headphone jack, a full-size SD card reader, USB-C, HDMI 2.1, mini display port, a USB type A, ethernet port, and the power slot. Um, HP's website says that this USB-C is for display port and power delivery. I haven't tested trying to send video signal through it, but I haven't been able to get it to work for power delivery. Maybe that's only on higher end models and not actually this uh, base model AMD one. At the back we just have vents, no ports. And switching to the other side we just have our two more USB ports. The chassis is the same as the Omen 15 basically from what I can tell just a half inch wider to accommodate the 16 inch screen and my immediate impression upon opening it was it still has that very large bezel on the bottom it's not like the legion 5 pro where they just made that bezel thinner and kept it in the exact same size chassis although the size difference between this and the omen 15 is pretty minimal um, keyboard flex was pretty minimal but it still has that same kind of a little bit uncomfortable screen flex. But to be fair, I haven't heard of anyone actually having any problems with their Omen screen or the hinges on it. Some of the laptops I get make me plug them in before they'll start up and then what's odd is I normally say they're at 50% battery. Uh, the Omen just turned right on without plugging it in first or anything. The laptop is 5 pounds and 1.6 ounces. Or 2.313 kilograms. If we add on the 230 watt charger, we make it up to 3.04 kilograms now uh, something I've noticed this is like my fifth laptop I reviewed this is the first one I've gotten that's come with a manufacturing defect right there at the top right corner of the screen um, the bezel doesn't quite isn't all the way into the screen housing I don't know if this would have any long-term effect on uh, the longevity or life of the laptop, 
but unfortunately it means I either need to decide to return this and wait for Best Buy to give me a new one or rush my review and finish it before the 14 day return window. Firing the computer up, if we take a look at Zen timings, this does come with good RAM fortunately. Opening up the Omen uh, gaming software, we have a little uh, network kind of control booster panel. Uh, you can control your lighting for your keyboard. You can also download Light Studio that will give you more advanced effects and if you're using HP peripherals like an HP keyboard or HP mouse, you can also control them through Light Studio. And if we take a look over performance control, you can use between balanced and performance. You can set the fans on max, auto, or manual, and it just tells you your system temperatures. Here's how the speakers sound on max. At close to 85 watts, they're pretty loud and don't sound bad. In my opinion. On max, the fans are a bit noisy at 63 decibels. The good part is they don't have any sort of coil whine um, that I can hear. It's hard to show color accuracy on camera. Um, now, this will have up to a uh, quad HD screen and 100% sRGB, but according to my app that I test with on my model, it's only 55% sRGB and 270 nits. From what I can tell, this is using AMD's uh, Smart Shift technology, the same thing that they're using in the newest generation of consoles. I can't even actually get a separate GPU power reading. I can just get on my uh, FPS monitor. The one thing I get it to pick up is this one kind of combined power reading. On performance mode, the fans in my initial testing do ramp up very quickly. And we see powers ranging 130 to 150 watts. Uh, if we switch it to balanced, it drops that by about 30 watts and the fans do settle down some. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you can see the full view or we'll take a look at the thermal span noise over extended gaming. Running the Shadow of the Tomb Raider built-in benchmark uh, on the highest settings, we got 101 frames per second, which is actually better than the score of Shadow of the Tomb Raider running on an external monitor from the Nitro 5 I reviewed. And hooking it up to an external monitor, we only get a small boost, and I think this is because of how that smart shift works. It's not gonna make a big difference. And here's our 3D Mark scores. Um, interestingly, this video card is so new that 3D Mark doesn't recognize it. It just says generic uh, VGA device, and if I look online, it won't display it. It says this isn't official, so I won't be able to link uh, online to the test results. Now, every laptop I review, especially from different manufacturers, has kind of its own idiosyncrasies, which I don't normally talk about because, you know, I'm not really sure if it's user error or something on my end, but... Out of the box, this laptop's built-in, the dedicated graphics card, the 6600M, wasn't working. I couldn't, it wouldn't run it on an external display, it didn't switch over to it on games. So I downloaded the drivers from AMD first, and that didn't fix it. So next I downloaded the drivers from HP's website, and it started working. But now the interesting thing is that the Radeon software won't open. It, the laptop's just like, no don't radio on your silly you're just gonna hurt yourself make sure you subscribe uh, so you don't miss the full review 
we'll be taking a look at a lot more game benchmarks. Uh, we'll test the battery life. And I'm also going to be doing a comparison video between the Omen and the Legion 5 Pro. So you won't want to miss that. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, like always, just ask them down below.